Hey everyone and welcome back. Thanks for tuning in for part 3 of the Supermarine Spitfire Balsa Plane build. Uh, I recognise somebody actually from the last two videos. And if anyone hasn't seen those, please check them out on my channel. Also it would be great if you'd help me out by hitting the like button and subscribing to my channel. So here we go, this one is going to be a shorter video, um, we're just concentrating on the tail plane and the fin rudder, so uh, reasonably straightforward, um, if you just start by pinning down the uh, central spar T1, as you see I've cut all my pieces out and got them laid roughly in position. Uh, once I've laid in the central spar, just try fitting all the uh, the surrounding parts without gluing them initially, just to make sure it's a nice, accurate fit all the way around. It's funny because I have to laugh when I'm watching these. How back in the day when we uh, when we had to cut everything out, Gordon Bennett it would have taken weeks, if not months, with some of these little intricate bits. Yeah. Anyway, once we're happy that uh, everything's right and glued and pinned down, we can just leave that to dry. Perhaps I should just mention at this point the uh, the top central spar is made from the hard balsa wood sheet and don't forget to put in your uh, corner gusset strengtheners. Okay so uh, once we're happy that that's all dried we can uh, remove it from the, sh the board, give it a quick tickle with the sandpaper, not too much otherwise you're going to misshape the edges and uh, cause more harm than good, so just a, a quick tickle. And on to the fin rudder. And uh, in true fashion, let's um, start with the central spar there, the uh, FR1, that's called, sounds like a Formula 1 part. And then again, just uh, try all your other bits in place first, all the uh, surrounding edge pieces, and once you're happy, start putting your glue on, get them all pinned up nice and flush. The next thing to do is to measure out and cut the base rib, which is cut from the again from the uh, hard sheet. So cut that till I get that ready. Pop that into place, glue it up, and then add your corner gusset and your uh, opposing gusset, the FR6, which is just slightly longer than the standard corner gussets. Glue them into position, make sure they're nice and tucked in. I don't think there's any real preference as to which way around you place these pieces to be honest, that, that's just the way I've done it. Just follow the pattern as close as you can. Thank you. 
And once you've done that, just uh, make sure to add all your, your little spars and ribs going across the, uh, the top there. Okay, so then we can just leave that to dry. And whilst we're waiting for it to dry, don't forget to join me next week because we'll be doing part four, the fuselage. Woo, see you then.